what my next step was, you know, and, and making an album seemed to be that. Well, you know, to be honest, I was very confident in the theater with him because it was my area. That's where I wanted to be, and it wasn't as, as much his. When we got in the recording studio, that's his world, and I was a little intimidated. Well, he's kind of a, he call, you know, he's like a one-take Jake. You know, he comes in, he just knows his stuff, and that's, that's great for Harry because he's a brilliant musician, and he just sits down. What I learned from him is just playing it, being cool, knowing what you do, being confident with it. I, I had a real hard time. Um, I, even though I had recorded many things, but being myself and recording, I had to come in the room and know who I was. And by the end of that recording session, I, I found out. The duet with Harry does come from my, my country roots. Um, I did grow up on a farm. I, we, I listened to a lot of George Jones. <laughs> and um, he stopped loving her today. And, um, and there were a lot of country singers that were coming from the state at the time. And Harry happens to love George Jones. Even did some recording with him at one point. And he said, you know what we need? We need ourselves a George Jones tune. And he, I think he sat down and he just pulled that thing out. And, and it's so that to me. It's so home to me. And um, when he decided to sing on it with me, that was just fantastic. You know, I went through a lot of different ideas about naming the album. I mean, you can pick a song or you can just name it something or you can name it Kelly O'Hara, which I thought was boring. Um, Wonder in the World is the name of that duet, and I think that duet is very important on the, the, the album because of his collaboration with me, with my collaboration with him, with, with that teaming. I mean, I think that that kind of, you know, sums that up. The whole record is, is that, that collaboration. So I know what it means for you to love me, and it's worth all the wonders. Deciding what goes on the album is, was very hard for me because I love all sorts of mu kinds of music, all types. Um, I grew up listening to anything from country to American standards, you know, Frank Sinatra, Ella Fitzgerald, to, um, to then getting an opera degree. So I'm, I'm all over the, you know, the map with my music. I've so enjoyed exploring the musical theater side of my voice in, in cast recordings, but I really felt like if I'm going to do a solo album, it can't be a cast recording. It can't be the cast of my show, my life as a show. It had to be um, just my story, but not a production. You know what I mean? It just had to be like, put me in your car, in your CD player, or put me on your iPod, and just learn who I am. Because I've been playing behind characters for so long. I never thought of myself as a songwriter, but I did write two songs are on the album. I wrote three, and the first one I wrote, which is not on the album, was so very, very intimate that that's, that's why it's not working for the album, but that's how I wrote. I wrote right from my heart what was intimate to me, and most of it's about my family. It's something my grandfather, my dad's dad, used to say all the time as a scolding method. Here now, here now, all the time. And now that he's passed, we constantly do that in my family. So I got this idea. It means so many things, but to me it means something totally different than what it means like. It means here, now, here and now, you know. And, um, and then I started th just thinking about that man, that wonderful man. And there's a great story in my family about him having to stop quit school in the eighth grade to farm in this the farm where I grew up and uh, and knowing that that's what he had to do but but watching his class graduate across the way like one day and just singing to himself kind of cheering himself up the whole song revolves around that um, the red dirt the soil and I say it settles like me the whole song is from his perspective 
the girl with the Irish eyes is my grandma. Um, but it's not that he settled. It's not that he didn't do what he wanted to do. He made the choice to do what he thought was right. And in the end, he did some things that probably allowed me to be doing what I'm doing right now. And he made those sacrifices, and he deserved a song <laughs> in my heart. <laughs> he was singing here now. This is my story. Not much glory to see. I believe in blue skies and the shadows. I definitely want to make an album, a theater album, a Broadway album. All my favorite Broadway tunes. You know, I, I can't wait to do that. But it goes back to Harry was my producer. Harry comes from a different world. And he, his advice to me as my producer was, get in the door with things in your heart, with things that explain you, not your work, not your job, which has been, um, even though it is my passion, Broadway is not all of me. It's part of me. It's one of these many parts of me. And that's why I have two or three songs from Broadway on the album. But then I have two or three songs from my childhood. And I have two or three songs um, from the middle years. And then I kind of have two or three songs from, from what I think of as a future, you know, as things quiet down and uh, settle down. And so I think it, it needed to show each part of me, and I couldn't just do one thing. And I also felt like it was very necessary for me to... Um, show a different side of me right now. It was time. I mean, I think singing in general to me is always personal. It's obviously easier when you're playing a part and you can be behind that part and, and take on those those emotions. Um, but that's that's a very interesting thing because you don't you, you sing those songs on the little record you know with the microphone and you sing them into the microphone, feeling everything you feel, and you forget that there are going to be random people listening to you, that little sound in their ear as if you're singing it to them. And you want to do one. Of, you want to do both things. You want to do it just for yourself, so that it really has so much intimacy. But then you also want to do it in a way that that can feel like you're singing to that individual person. Um, so it is very intimate. But I think that's that's the best part about music. It can seem very, very personal all the time. If you find in the world in the wide world.